Peter, I'd like you to meet Mr. Bucky Beaver. Pet him, he's really soft. <laughs> Say hello to Peter Bucky. Hey, how's it going? June 23rd. I was tired, but I still went to watch Henry train for his upcoming match with the Negro. Even though his victory is all but certain, Henry trains hard and we all revel in partaking in his preparation. The pride of Strathmore. But Henry is also my own. My knight. The rope is strong, but his body... His fists are the instruments of God's will. The Negro filth must not only be lynched, but humiliated as well. Why are you always so mean to them? They deserve it. They're never going to accept me, so you know they're never going to accept you. The madam had always been a nasty one. A pompous heap of flesh and a source of our scorn. She lived in the warm mansion, shielded, shielded from us, and everything like us. The Crawling King, the new book by Adar Baldwin. It was most certainly a man, if a peculiar one. He was tall, mostly due to the extreme length of his thin legs. His body was large and bulky and his arms were double the width of his legs. His hands were bulbous and round, but adorned with white gloves. He wore a yellow-green coat, same as his wagon, and a wide brim hat from under which long blonde hair flowed. And while the sum of these parts was exceedingly strange, his face was even stranger. It was childlike and round, pale, but with rosy cheeks, the lips were redder still, and curled into a slight smile. His eyes were friendly, but blank and unmoving. I'm Elizabeth Scott. Back to you in the studio, Bill. I love fake news. July 3rd. Tomorrow, the fight. I fear the abomination walks amongst us. But no one else can see it. No one else believes. <laughs>